guys, I am Christy and this is Created by Christy. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm so excited. Um, I was browsing YouTube, Pinterest, looking for inspiration and I found out that you could sculpt resin. So, <laughs> after watching some videos and figuring this out, I have decided to go ahead and give it a shot. Um, I actually finished one piece already and I'll show you that piece. It's super awesome. I'm so excited about it. So I'm not going to try to recreate it because I mean I have one. So let's do some different colors and see what happens. But what you need is a shower curtain, um, clear shower curtain cut up into pieces. I've got my table lined with mine. You have resin, which I need to be stirring right now. Um, let's see, let me get my little stir stick and get on that so it doesn't harden on us. Um, and then what I used was um, mica powder. So I used mica powder to tint the different um, colors of resin. And then I used um, glass pieces. Um, and these are just like broken mirror pieces. Um, you can get them at Michael's Hobby Lobby, all the different places. And some glitter is what I used in this one. So you can see on this word, the little pieces, um, those are the little pieces of glass that are in there. And then when it was all done, then I took a uh, gold leaf paint and trimmed the outside with it. So, We'll get started on this one. The first thing I need to do again is stir my resin together for the three minutes like you're supposed to. Um, I use East Coast resin or West Coast resin. I'm not sure which one that is, but I'll link it in the description below. Um, and then I just use some different mica powders that I have. Um, so we're gonna stir this for three minutes and then we're gonna let it sit for 15. And the reason we let it set for 15 is so that it can thicken and harden, or not harden, thicken. Um, but if you wait a little bit more than that, it will go ahead and start hardening and you'll have an awful mess, which was what happened to me the first time I tried this. So um, that 15 minute timer is super important. So you sure want to make sure that you do that. Um, when I'm done getting this stirred, I'm going to separate it into a couple different cups, which I will then tint and set my 15 minute timer. Okay, so now that I have this all properly stirred, I'm going to go ahead and pour some in these two cups. And then I'm gonna keep some in the big cup itself. Alrighty, so I think I've chosen this um, blue mica powder and this purple mica powder together. So that should give us a fun combo. So I'm just gonna get my little scoop. Go ahead and knock that in there. over here Mix the stir of the color And you can see that's like a nice, pretty turquoisey color. And then my other color is going to be a purple. This should be a fun combo. Lots of vibrant, vivid colors in there, if you can see. So now it's gonna, I'm gonna set my timer for about 10 minutes because it took me a couple minutes to get that started and then I'll bring you down so you can see what's going on on the table. Okay, so it has been 10 minutes and I decided a couple 
to do a couple of things in those 10 minutes. Um, I decided, normally I keep like one of mine clear, but I decided that this pale pink would be really nice with the purple and the turquoise that I had picked out already. So the way that you're gonna tell it's ready, you can feel it's kind of like warm to the touch and when you pull it up, it's not as fluid as it normally would be, but when it starts to harden and get clumpy, you've missed the happy time and you're in for a giant mess. So what I'm gonna do now is just pour this onto this, uh, the shower curtain and kind of just as a way to get it on there. Do whatever little creative. And you wanna give yourself about five or six inches to the sides because it will spread and you don't want it to go off the shower curtain. So now I'm gonna do the purple. Like how fun is this color palette? I'm very excited about it. I feel like it's real easy to get into like the beachy thing cause I'm just drawn to blues anyway. So I'm really trying hard to not go to the beach right now. So, alrighty, and then I'm gonna use this just to kind of fill in the spaces so that it's full all over. And you can see it kind of come in and separate some of the colors, which makes it nice. Just want to get it in all the little holes. Alrighty. Now that I've got that there, I'm gonna just pull out the last little bit of the turquoise. Some more there in the center. And then I got my last little bit of purple here. Alrighty. And then you can just kind of like press it, make sure it's all flat. And you can kind of swirl it around. You don't want to swirl it too much because then you'll just have one big giant blob with no like definitive color and I like to be able to see like where the color comes and goes. So now that I've got that, I'm going to clear my cups away and then I am going to, on, let's see, oh, little bubble, little bubble. Alrighty, are you all gone? Now I'm gonna get my torch and just pop a couple of bubbles. <sighs> you wanna be careful, you don't wanna put too much torch on it right away because it's on plastic, but this will just like really quick pop out the little bubbles that are in there. Pop, 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 bye-bye and send them on their way. So now that that's done, all right, torch extinguished. So now that that's done, we are going to do our fun little mix-ins. So I've decided to do some purple and beige glass and some white iridescent glitter. Please disregard my dogs acting like buttheads in the background. It's like they can hear me in a video. 
And they're like, hey, let's go make noise. Let's go be loud. So, mm, that purple looks really nice. And again, I'm concentrating right on the edges because this thing is going to spread and so I want to get it as close to the edges as possible so that um, when it does spread, it'll still be all there. And you don't want it in a perfect circle because if it was in a perfect circle, then it wouldn't have all the cool um, texture and fun to it. Okay, so now that I've put that there, that was the um, purple glass. Now I've got some white iridescent glitter that I'm just gonna sparkle, sprinkle, sorry, sparkle, sprinkle, whatever, um, around the sides as well. Because who doesn't love a good iridescent glitter? And I'm using, it's like a combo of like extra fine and a little bit chunky. And then I just sprinkle it a little bit throughout. Alrighty guys. Okay, so now my piece dried for around like six or seven hours just so it's like not tacky anymore. So now I'm gonna take it to drape over an object. So for this one, I'm gonna use this um, pitcher here, or I'm sorry, this vase here, and I'm gonna do it over the big end so that it um, gets a, a bigger shape. So I'm just gonna remove my board. I'm gonna go ahead and put that down. And then I'm gonna start working it around the vase. Now, it seems like that would be very easy, but it's not always. So you just want to like... So what I like to do, if you can see here, instead of just having it do like fold at the corner, what I like to do is push in so that I can get two pleats and then pinch it there so that it gives it more texture and shape on the outside. Okay, so now I've got it draped over here and I'm gonna do the side pinchy things like I was just showing you. The other thing that, um, ah, here it is. The other thing I do is once I get it shaped like I want it, then I'm gonna put the wax paper over it and then I'm gonna use ma um, painter's tape to, paint, to tape around it to hold the form. Okay guys, so I have taken it off of the, um, base that I had draped it over. And so now all I'm going to do is go ahead and pull the uh, shower curtain liner out as our last step here. Alrighty. So that's clear. And then you can see how we have like this really cool shaped um, dish to um, put treats or whatever in. Um, I'll bring it down so you can see kind of the close up. The last thing you want to do is like clip any edges off that um, may have been like a little, like here's some right here. You can just clip those off with scissors. Just a little, yep. And then those are good. And then um, if you want to, you don't have to, you can edge the piece with like, I might do a silver paint on this one just to accentuate that edge. Alrighty, as always, thanks for watching. Continue to like and subscribe. See you next time.